In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to use the brand new tracker in Final Cut Pro. Let's jump into it. So tracking in Final Cut Pro is finally here. There's no more need for a third party tool because it's now built into the software and in typical Apple fashion, it is super easy to use. I have two clips here in the timeline for us to play with today. I have this clip of my Tesla Model 3 driving through Phoenix, Arizona. And I also have this clip of my friend Amanda who actually filmed the clip of the Tesla driving. And she's also our model today for this video, so shout out to her. The link to her Instagram is in the description below. For the sake of this video, we're going to start out with the video of my car. And what you want to do is you just want to drag it to a point where the car is clearly in view. So I'd say right here the car is clearly in view. And then what you want to do is you want to go up to the text field. So you go up here to where it says T. Uh, if you're in this menu, you just click here and then you're in the text. And for the sake of this video, we're going to be using a text field from Envanto Elements. I will leave a link to that in the description below. But what you want to do is grab that text and just drag it right over the video and drag it on top of the object that you want to track. Now, sometimes Final Cut Pro will recognize that it's an object. So there we go. It recognized it there. If it doesn't, you just pick where you want to drop it. And then you can grab these orange pieces here and you can refine the tracking area. So we want to really get it narrowed down here on the vehicle. We can even drag it over, center it better, and there you go. So what we want to do now is we want Final Cut Pro to analyze this object that we're going to track. And the way you're going to do that is by simply going up here to the analyze button. Just press that and you can see in real time what it's doing to track the object, which is super awesome. And it is so fast, something that you couldn't do this fast before. And so now it's already done analyzing and keyframing, which is unbelievable. And what I want to do now is I want to drag this text here and I want to make it the length of my video clip. So that's easy to do. Just drag that out. And then I want to drag the actual text field over the vehicle. So right here, and we want to shrink that down. So up here in the inspector, you can get to that by going to this levels tool here, but you want to go to the text inspector and just shrink your text down, fix it so that it's back onto your object. And I'm just going to go to these lines here. I'm going to type in my text. So Tesla model three, and it's literally that easy. So now we can go back to the beginning and play it. And as you can see, it is beautifully tracking the car. As you can see there, it did move around a little there. It's not 100% perfect, but it does do the job and it does it incredibly well. If you go to the video clip itself and you go to the video inspector and you scroll down to the bottom, you will see the object track tool here now. So if I click on that, and I go here to this little drop down. We actually have a couple options. We have combined machine learning and point cloud. Now machine learning is what I'm most familiar with. So that's what I'm going to show you in the video. But machine learning is basically an AI that is learning how to track better. So if I select that, it'll actually track the object, even if it's behind a tree or a building. And so it'll learn where that object is and know when to start tracking it again. It's pretty unbelievable. I'm sorry if I didn't explain it that well, but that is basically the gist of what it is. And as you can see, that lagginess that we were getting before isn't as strong with the machine learning on. So I think in the future, I'm definitely going to be using machine learning more often than the automatic. But it, I just can't believe how unbelievably clean this is and how incredible this came out. So now for our next example, we have Amanda here. What we want to do is we want to blur her face because you might need to do that. You might need a blur license plate or a face. It is very simple to do and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So since we're not going to be using the text here, I'm going to shut that menu out and we're going to go down here to our effects tool. And in here, we're going to go to blur. So scroll up, go to blur and we're going to choose 
uh, Gauzen. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but that is going to be the best blur to use. So I'm just going to pick that up just like I did with the text and I'm going to drag that over Amanda's face and just like that Final Cut Pro recognize that it is a face that it is tracking. Unbelievable. So I'm going to drop that there and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to analyze beautifully analyzing her face even when her hair is in front of it still knows that it's her face pretty amazing and boom right there and so now what I'm going to do is I want to shrink this air, this space because the blur is kind of going outside of her face and I want it to really focus in on her face so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlink the tracking with this um, out, outside area here, this red circle. So I'm going to go up to shape and I'm just going to shrink that down right over her face. And then I'm going to link the two again and go back to the tracker here. And we're going to play this back. Let's see how it worked. That is pretty crazy. That is pretty crazy. And I'm letting you guys know right now that this is my first time using the face tracking tool. So I was able to just do that for my first time very easily and show you guys. So that is literally how easy it is to use these tools in Final Cut Pro. You're able to track objects now super accurately and you're able to blur out faces and you don't need a third party tool. Like this is game changing stuff here. The M1 Max chip on the MacBook Pro is absolutely incredible. That is what I'm using. Just to show you my exact machine here, I'm using the 16 inch 2021 Apple M1 Max chip, 32 gigabytes memory, um, and I'm running Mac OS Monterey version 12.0. So I've absolutely been blown away by this new MacBook and what I've been able to do with it. And I'm definitely going to have a review on it soon. So definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That way you don't miss any of my videos when I upload them here to the channel. And real quick before I go, I just want to tell you guys real quick about TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is a YouTube SEO tool that will help you grow your YouTube channel. It's helped me grow this YouTube channel. Definitely make sure to check out my link in the description below for a free trial. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.